following is an address to the nation by the Governor General of Grenada, His Excellency Sakala Glean, declaring Child Month, October 2011, open. Greetings to viewers and listeners. Every child is born of a mother and a father. The children of today would be the women and men of tomorrow. We must love them today and help them to be better women and men when they grow up and to be better mothers and fathers. The Child Month Committee and the Early Childhood Department of the Ministry of Education have come together again to celebrate Child Month October 2011. The theme for this year's celebration is Love the Child, Father's Care Too. Parents, we appeal to you to love the child, to show greater love for your children. Mothers and fathers, your child is precious. Every child is precious. Our children are vibrant, versatile, and optimistic. Many of them have big dreams for themselves and the country. Some of our own primary school children are using the computer and the internet. We have to nurture and encourage the spirit and the talents. Every child is important Every child is God's gift to the parents, and God has blessed us all, his children. We must love our children. Treat each child with love and great care. Speak kindly to and about the child. Be firm with him or her, but not harsh. Use words that uplift, encourage, and make the child feel good about himself or herself. If the child lives with love and respect, the child learns to love and respect himself or herself and others. The home is the first school, and the mother, father, and others in the home are the first teachers. Every child, every human being needs to feel accepted and appreciated at home, at school, at work, at church, in clubs, in groups. To feel good about self, about me, and to develop positive self-worth self-esteem through the love of Jesus for us and the love of each one of us for Jesus and our neighbor. Married fathers as husbands are the head of the family household of wife and children. Also, many unmarried fathers are head of the family household of the mother and children. Both sets of fathers provide for the family. They love the family, share in the care and discipline of the children, and have a good relationship with members of the family. Many fathers show keen interest in the children's education and make time to attend PTA meetings. If the children are doing well at school, the fathers talk about how they are making the parents proud. If they are doing poorly, the fathers advise that they spend less time on play and watching television or playing video games. The fathers may even suggest extra lessons. Fathers also take interest in the co-curricular activities of the children, example, athletics, 
football, basketball, netball, drama, dance, etc. And may go to a show or a game when the child is participating. Some absentee fathers, that is, those not living in the same household as the child, do maintain contact with the child and encourage him or her to study your lessons and behave yourself. They also give help to the child on a special occasion, need for a pair of shoes or school uniform, also in time of illness with medication. Some absentee fathers have helped their son or daughter to get to the United States and Canada. Fathers, married parents, and unmarried parents living in the same household as the child. Absentee fathers have all shown care and attention, even love. The proper care, the best care and upbringing of the child, physically, socially, mentally, psychologically, and spiritually, is in the household where the parents are in a stable relationship of love, fidelity, and care for each other and their children in the name of God the source of love. May God bless us all and have a successful child month to everyone. The preceding was an address to the nation by the Governor General of Grenada, His Excellency Sir Carla Glee, declaring Child Month 2011 open.